I just wanted to share with you one of the books that my daughter's got for Christmas. They actually got quite a few books, but this one is called Love Light Sky by Leslie C. Youngblood. And I asked my daughter what she actually thought about the book, and she was saying that it's good. Apparently, Sky is meant to be like a Disney character. I didn't know it's meant to be part of a Disney program that comes on is it on Disney it's on Disney isn't it yeah and I, I didn't even know about it so I'm sure a lot of young people if they saw the book they'd recognize who the character was so I said to her, my daughter what do you think of the book and she said no it's good so I said you know sort of what's been going on have, have you read a lot of the book so far she said no but she's read the first chapter and in the first chapter Sky, her mother is just remarried and so her and her younger sister have moved to a different part of America. They've moved from Atlanta from a different part to a different part of America. And so they they've been there for about six months and she has an older stepsister. Well the older stepsister has been locking herself in her bedroom. One of the reasons is because recently she's lost an older sister. So obviously she's going through her own stuff. And also she's going through a teenage phase. So she's sort of trying to sort of converse with her and having a little bit of difficulty there. But at the same time, she's still having fun with her little sister. So I decided to read the first chapter because my daughter said, you know, I've really read the first chapter only a few pages. But her description is very good considering she only read a few pages. So, you know. It's very, very good. So I thought, you know, I'd just share that with you because I, she did, my daughter did actually say that um, she feels the book is for children her age, she's 12, and also younger, because that's the sort of niche I'm trying to get into. I'm trying to write a book for children between the age of 8 and 12, so it's all interesting. But how about you? Have any of your children got any or received any books for Christmas. Another thing obviously is because, you know, it's written by a black author, uh, Leslie C. Youngblood, because I have done a video before, you know, sort of sharing about if anybody knew any major black authors, let me know. So it's not as if, you know, I'm only going to read books by black authors, that, not, that isn't the case, but because there aren't a lot of us or a lot of well-known novels or what have you by black authors whenever i see a book that's good i will be prepared to share about it and i will be prepared to look into it you know it's all good isn't it but i mean don't forget to comment on my page welcome austin roberts to like and even share don't forget to press the notification button so that all the videos that i do come up and running so to you so come on you know share on my page and let me know if any of your children have received any good books over christmas let me know you know are your children avid readers or do they just like playing games, you know, computer games or, you know, watching TV and movies and things like that, because I think it really is good if we can somehow encourage them to get back into to reading, getting back into the art of reading, but hey, you know, I don't want to dictate or anything like that, but it's always good, you know, if you can somehow get your children into liking books and novels and things like that, but I thought, you know, I'd just share that with you, you take care and I will speak to you soon, bye-bye.